In today's video, I'm taking you thrifting with me in Mankato, Minnesota to a store called Vine Home Thrift. I love this store and I love their prices. So let's go ahead and see what we can find. Here we go. I love to thrift for my home decor and my vintage collections, but I also have a resale booth in a little shop nearby. The shop is called The Pink Elephant. It's located in Hopkins, Minnesota. And so sometimes I'll pick up items for my resale booth. If any of that interests you, I would love it if you'd hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you'll get notified every time I upload a video. Part of having success in an antique or vintage booth is knowing your market, knowing who you're selling to. And at the Pink Elephant, we have a lot of young people who come in, kind of ages like 17 to 25. I call them the youths. And on the advice of my children, I buy a lot of these like trinket boxes and candle holders, and I sell them for pretty cheap. That's what they like to buy. That's who's in my booth a lot of times. So that's what you'll see me pick up. I love these tea tins. I used to collect them, but I found I wasn't really having a place to display them or to use them. So I've stopped picking them up. I did, however, pick up this piece. This is a transferware bone dish. I've read about what these are. They're these half moon or crescent shaped dishes that would be placed in front of everyone's plate at the table. And that's where you'd put your used bones so i thought this was really cool i like that it's transferware i do have a collection of transferware in greens and blues and browns so this fits right in There were a lot of little trinkets at the thrift store on this day, things that I like to sell at the shop. So I did pick this one up as well to put at the pink elephant. This was a neat find. It was only $3. It's a vintage bell pull that someone probably made in the 70s. I think it's super cute. I really like the colors. A lot of college kids have been coming in looking for wall decor, and I thought this might be a neat piece. It's a piano, and it says, listen. So I bought this for the youths. This was a neat find and totally brought me back to childhood. My mother had these all over our house filled with pictures of family. This thrift store has a lot of great furniture at really good prices. I really liked these vintage chairs. I have no use for them, but I sat down in them. They were pretty comfortable.
I love me a good vintage fruit crate, but this one was marked at $12 and I didn't want to pay that much. I thought this was a really cute little handmade wall pocket. I didn't purchase it, but I did think it was cute. These were really cute. I think they're swans and one was in blue and one was in white. Adorable. I've always liked to incorporate these darker wood tones into some decorative pieces. I have a salad bowl that's this darker wood tone, as well as like, a, I don't know, another decorative bowl. So I did pick this up and I really like it to work into my decor. It was only $2. I really liked this old desk. I don't know what this compartment on the left side is for. If you have any thoughts, let me know. What would you have put in there? I don't really know. It just lifted up here, see? Hmm. But I did like the desk. I have nowhere for it. And you know, I just bought a desk recently, a green one, which is adorable. So left that behind, but I liked it.
I thought this was cute. It's a little miniature pottery water jug. Very adorable. This was an amazing find for me. It was only $2. It says made in occupied Japan. It has a little bee on it and then like clover, I guess. I'm guessing that's clover, shamrock. I don't really know. I think it's clover. But anyway, you'll see here in a moment, I actually have a piece from this set. I have had this creamer for about two years. I think it's just adorable. It's definitely on a smaller scale but it also says made in occupied Japan. So I think they look just adorable together here on my little centerpiece on my table for now. I don't collect Tupperware, but it does sell pretty well for me, but they had all of their Tupperware priced pretty much at vintage store prices. So I didn't pick any of it up. I did really like this apple green set. I thought that was really pretty. this was funny to see another bone plate i don't see them very often so it was really funny to see two in one store if it had had a transfer on it then i would have picked it up but it was just plain white so didn't really fit into my collection They had this really nice trash can. I think it was only like $8.99. I actually called Maddie because I thought it might be nice for her apartment. Turns out she bought the exact one new at Target for 30 bucks. Oh well. <laughs> Here's some great mid-century furniture finds. Someone had already picked them up, pretty cool. This store just always has such a great selection of furniture. They have a little case where they have more vintage items and sometimes they have slightly higher prices, but I definitely think you can find good prices even in the case here. Some of the prices are, you know, too high for what I want to spend, but some of them are good.
Okay, this piece totally doesn't really fit into any of my collections, besides the fact that it has blue and white on it. That's really the only connection. But I don't know what it is about it. It was just so charming to me, so I did actually pick it up. And I've put it here on this little cabinet behind my sofa. I just think it's cute. So that's why I bought it. And that's all that I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed coming with me to Vine Home Thrift. It's a favorite. If you're ever in Mankato, check it out and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you.